Hi everybody, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here. And you might have seen some of the videos that I've done talking about Reaper, the DAW, and how to get sound in there and how to get going. And if you've looked at those, or if you haven't looked at those and used a different DAW, brilliant. But you'll probably then find yourself at the place where you can record sound in Chances are, if you're just starting out, you don't have everything available to record a real drum set. Now, you can go out and get virtual drums, and one of the biggest problems that I find I get feedback from uh, younger or less experienced uh, producers and engineers, our fellow recording people, is that their drums don't sound right. And it's not necessarily the sound of these drum samples, it's knowing how to make those drums sound realistic. If that's the situation you're in, there is now something for you. My friend Henning Pauly from HP42 has made this massive drum programming course. It's in association with Spectre Digital, which is Glenn Fricker from SMG uh, Spectre Sound Studios. It's his company so they're working together on this and Henning has gone all out on this. He talks about several different drum programs and how to use them. He talks about how to get different dynamics with drums to make them come to life. He talks about and has a real drummer in his studio and what they do is they play a little bit on the actual drum kit then try and program that and show you how that works. And that is a huge deal that they actually show you how to understand different patterns. If you're not a drummer, if you don't particularly know fluidly how drums play out, you know, if you've seen a lot of, you know, like programmed heavy metal, like gent, that kind of thing, quite often you'll listen to a drum part. And if it sounds wrong, it's because it sounds like the drummer has three or four arms. It's just not possible. So what Henning has done is shown you for not just that genre, but any genre really, how to get feel into these virtual drums. Um, if you can get a real drummer, great, but often that's not the case. Now I've been programming drums myself for 20 years or more. I actually remember having a Zoom rhythm track and trying to get dynamics out of that thing. It was it's terrible. But that was in 1999, 2000, around then. Since then, the tools have come a long way. But the understanding, uh, if you're starting from scratch, you're still starting from scratch. And this is the kind of course that can make your understanding just come forward in leaps and bounds in a very short space of time. When I was learning, there were not courses like this at all. And what I actually had to do was spend, no exaggeration, five or six years learning how to play drums. I still don't consider myself to be a very good drummer, but at this point, I understand how the dynamics of each hand work. But there was no one around to explain it to me. So I had to put in hours, weeks, months, years of grind so that when it came back to programming drums, I then understood, oh, humans can't do this, but we can do this, and that sounds good. Now, if you don't have those years to burn, then courses like this from Henning will save you so much time because every time that I've looked at a course like Henning's, uh, it saved me so much time because if someone who really knows what they're doing says, if you do this, that's not going to work. If you do this, here's why it sounds like this. Then your understanding uh, is increased very quickly and it feels like leveling up. It almost feels like cheating because you're not having to put in the years of work. Now, I'm particularly proud of the years of work that I've put in, but in a lot of cases, I can tell you now, if I'd been given the choice to just know some of these things rather than learning it the hard way, I absolutely would have. And so, here's a couple of little clips from Henning's course. Not the full thing, obviously, just little bits. Uh, just to give you an idea 
I don't want to give the whole game away. I don't think Henning would be very happy with that. But <laughs> yeah, just a little couple of clips and then see for yourself whether you like it or not. Well, if you click this, it's just that window. Nice. Get Good Drums is a fairly basic interface. It doesn't go in any way as deep as BFD does uh, or Superior Drummer, but what you get is uh, good drums. So it makes total sense to me. Here's the basic kit, which in this case is like a, a titanium kit, something like this. You can click them. Minor symbols. Good stuff. You can turn the reverb down. It loads with this basic kit. You can click on things. And when something is not loaded, like these extra toms, and you're sending MIDI to it or you're clicking on it, it isn't empty. It actually plays the one that's loaded, which is pretty cool. You edit. So I assigned this kick. Don't forget to assign the second one. Do you, how that, do you, do you hear how that just changed? Well, that's because it's going through my processing. Okay, we're doing the same for the snare. That is going out of three. Two tops, one bottom. This snare as well. This is a much simpler setup than I have for other stuff, but you hear what's happening. Even though they're pre-processed, I'm adding a whole bunch of snap to it. Let's go to the kick drum camera and have Hank play that groove for us, and we're gonna see what he does with his foot. In metal, now we're gonna place two and four. I'm taking this one away. I'm gonna make a big open hi hat here. We're gonna go to a medley sound. And it's not something you would immediately recognize as the theme from Clocks from Coldplay, but check this out. Now, if that seems like the kind of thing where you're going, oh yes, I, I need this, this will save me loads of time, uh, it's on sale right now, with it being brand new. This is an introductory thing. Although, if you're seeing this video a little later on, obviously it won't be on sale unless you know, it's Black Friday or something like that, but that's, I, I can't control when you watch this video. Uh, but there is a link in the description, hoppole.co slash Henning Drums, and that is an affiliate link, which helps me out as well as helping Henning out and helping Glenn out. And that means that you then get the whole 15 hour course to download and digest at your leisure. Thanks to Henning, thanks to Glenn, and thanks to you guys for watching and all the patrons and all that kind of stuff. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, that might be the end of the video, but if you fancy carrying on this conversation, we have a Discord server, link is in the description. We're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Hot Pole Studios. See you there.